Now, it's impossible to talk about RE5 without talking about RE4. I know you might think, oh, well, shouldn't you talk about the first ones? But the real jump, I mean, like, you know, Mario's 2D to 3D jump, was done between RE3 and RE4. So now, looking at RE5, we have to look at what it's based on. So, let's see, you drive up to this poor village, you get out, look around, try to talk to this guy. Uh-oh, infected pseudo-zombie. Kill him. Let's get some ammo, jump out this window. Uh-oh, now there's a horde and a chainsaw guy. Check and you got a lot of nice varied areas, marshlands, some rickety docks, mines, caves full of bugs, underground ancient ruins with plaques missing three stones, cold, dark industrial areas, followed by red hot industrial areas. It's very nice. So, you know, there's a lot to live up to here. So let's see what RE5 can do. All right, we drive up to this poor village. We get out, we meet Shiva. Ugh. She's our second player slash AI. Uh-oh, infected pseudo zombie. Some ammo, jump out this window. Uh oh, a horde. Oh shit, chainsaw guy. Chicken. Goes on, some marshlands, rickety docks, mines, cave with bugs, underground ancient ruins with plaque missing three stones, cold dark industrial area followed by red hot industrial area. Hey, wait a minute. God damn it. <sighs> okay, now just from the get go, I want to put something down on the table. Okay, I've heard a lot of people complain that this game is too easy. And that's true if you play on easy or normal. But if you don't have a vagina... So, just for the record, everything I'm saying here is based on playing the game on veteran. Now we come to the crux of the game. Shiva's AI, which is fundamentally, painfully, broken. And most of the complaints that are gonna come up here are related to Shiva. Now you have the option to turn friendly fire off. The reason you have this is because Shiva's an idiot. It's 2009. We have internet 6.0, robot love slaves, high def YouTube, and our AI still consists of, oh, pretty bird. Here, watch Resident Evil 4. Ashley, duck. Okay. Now Shiva, duck. Ugh. What the fuck did they program her with? C minus minus? Now, if Shiva's trapped by an enemy, you can assist her, walk up, bam, help her out. And if you're trapped by an enemy, Shiva can stand there and do nothing. Thanks, Shiva. I should have just brought Helen Keller for backup. Shiva, at times, will actively run into the enemies for no reason. And all you could do is stop shooting and wave her back. Shiva. Shiva. Fine ass back here. Shooting enemies while babysitting Shiva feels so schizophrenic. Like the visual side of your brain remains concentrated on keeping the pseudo-zombies at bay, while the other analytical side works for a suicide hotline. What the fuck are you doing? God damn it, Shiva. You make me want to hit you with a brick. A brick of knowledge and software updates. Now keep in mind, if you play with a friend, all these Shiva issues kind of go away. But you know what? That's not good enough. If you want to make a game that's specifically for other people co-op, then it's good enough. But this isn't. And by the way, the AI here is still better. Of course, if you don't play on harder mode, you won't have as many of these frustrations, other than the obvious frustration of going through life as a bleeding vagina. I should talk about some of the positive things in this game, and I will. Boss fights are epic. So epic, I'm not going to show them to you, because I don't want to ruin the good parts. But there's got to be at least 10 bosses, and they're amazing. If you're playing with a second player, if you're playing by yourself, they're the worst parts of the game. Because you'll just curse out Shiva more than the enemy killing you. Now, one of the few upgrades over RE4 is the ability to actually switch weapons in-game instead of pausing, going to your items menu, and then coming back. This adds to a lot of tension, it was a good addition. Although the lack of a general hotkey for your health, a la Dead Space, is a real, real letdown. You still have to stand while you shoot, can't walk and shoot, like most all other third-person shooters today. There's still a money system, so on and so forth. However, unlike the last game, they know it's frustrating and they know boss fights are gonna be near impossible if you're not playing with another human player. They allow you to take all your items and stats and play any chapter you've already been at over to gain more money and shit. I know what this is called. You know what this is fucking called? Grinding. This is bullshit. I shouldn't have to fucking grind. In the last game, you started with an attache case that you could upgrade and make larger and larger and larger to fit all your items and move them around. It was very nice. Items, kind of Diablo style, took up respective amount of space to what kind of items they were. That's not the case here. This is more 
everything takes up one slot, which makes no sense, and you only get nine slots. And guess what? Later in the game, you'll get armor. Two pieces of armor. And both pieces take up a fucking inventory slot. So now you have seven inventory spaces. Look, look at RE4. Look at all this fucking inventory space. All right? Now look at this. And if your inventory is full and you find an herb, you can't just eat it. You have to discard something you got and then eat it. And the worst part of it is Shiva is too fucking stupid to do anything with her items. She can't combine red and green herbs. You gotta take her shit, exchange, do that, give it back all... You'll spend half your time just switching items with Shiva because you gotta do her fucking job for her. Ugh. There's a bit of Mario 2 syndrome here. Not the American Mario 2, but the real one. See, what happened back in the 80s was that after Super Mario Bros, Miyamoto shifted his attention to the first Zelda title. So his stand-ins, who didn't have any real creative ideas, just decided to rearrange what had been done before, only to make it new, they decided to make it frustratingly, brokenly difficult. And that's part of what happens here, okay? With Dead Space, impossible mode meant almost any enemy could kill you in one hit. Did that mean it was broken? No, it just meant it was really fucking hard. That kind of sweaty palm gameplay, you know what I'm talking about? Boss fights, Nate, but Nintendo game sweaty palm, and it's awesome. When I beat that, I was like, mm. I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't play it through in its harder mode. I mean, I spent half my time fighting Shiva and the other half fighting the enemies. I, I don't want to do that again in a harder, brokener mode. Now, with RE4, once you beat it, you got this mode called Mercenaries, which is like this bonus mode you run around, get time bonuses, and try and stay alive till the time runs out. For me, playing that non-stop till I earned the hand cannon was half the fun compared to the, you know, story mode. Here in RE5, you get that again. And without Shiva around, or any crappy AI around, the fundamentally broken part of the game is kind of gone. Now, there is one unavoidable letdown, and it's the controls. You see, even though Res Evil 4 came out for the GameCube and then later a graphically inferior version came out for the PS2, it was re-released on the Wii with Wii controls. This was the best shooter controls of any game ever. What you can do, though, is wait for a PC version to come out, and then wait three days for some MIT student to make a Wiimote mod, and then you can play it properly. Until then, you gotta do this bullshit. This kinda happened with Grand Theft Auto 4. After playing Scarface on the Wii, drive-bys with a controller were just... well... shit. Anyway, it would be negligent of me to ignore the seemingly hot-button issue of race that has been brought up and discussed by white people, white people, and white people. You know why you haven't heard from this guy? Because he only cares when things are actually racist. Yes, you're shooting black people. Why, you ask? Because they're fucking zombies and we're in Africa. Here's the number one rule of zombies. Everyone's a zombie. Wherever you go, there be zombies all up in dat bitch. In RE4, we were in a Spanish-European country and all the zombies were... <laughs> Spanish European and before that we were in America where almost all the zombies were white So wouldn't it have been racist to leave out Africa? So everyone just needs to calm the fuck down and ooh Ooh Ah Ah oh, Yeah Way to go Capcom just when we thought you were out of the woods All right enough is enough Simpson Award, Ashley Simpson Award. Because remember that episode where Jerry screwed a gymnast and it turned out to be just so normal? Well, that's what this is. You wanted a fucking athlete and woke up with her sister.